I'm going to show you how to add and edit target formats with Replay Converter 3.0. So I've got the program open and I'm going to go ahead and add a file to it and go to my handy dandy Replay Converter file folder which is um, just on my desktop. It's right here so I just clicked on it. Um, I have a bunch of different things in here but I'm going to pull in um, an FLV file uh, uh, that I downloaded from YouTube. I am going to convert it into the same folder. It is a, a, a video file, so I'm going to convert to another video file. And um, I want to convert it to um, an AVI. And here are my target formats. I've, I've got their, the program has it set up so that there are just a handful of sort of the most popular default target formats there. Uh, but I want to convert to AVI, but I don't want to convert to this particular um, 800 kilobits a second high quality AVI. So I'm going to um, right click on it and go to edit target format properties. And um, it tells me that the frame size, I can keep the frame size as the original, but I'm going to change that so it's slightly bigger. Um, the frame rate's set to 25, and I think I'll keep that the same. But the bit rate I want to change, I'm going to customize it. So I go up to custom, and I can type in, I'm going to type in 1250. Um, and then it's going to say that it's going to want me to distinguish this um, target format from the one that was my default. So I'm just making it AVI high quality 1250 and I'm clicking OK. So then it is now one of my target formats. So um, it's listed here, which is nice. Um, so I'm going to keep that. I have to say something about this though. First of all, I'm, I'm converting a, an FLV file from YouTube, which typically aren't at the very best quality. And, and I'm converting it at a, probably a much higher quality than it, the original. I can't improve the quality of my original. I just can't. It doesn't work that way. Um, but what I'm trying to show you is that if you have, if your original file is of a very high quality, you can at least maintain that quality by ensuring that you're converting at no less a uh, conversion rate than your original. So this that's really what this is. I'm not trying to show you how to improve the quality of an FLV video. Anyway, so and then I'm going to click Go. And um, this may take a little bit of time because I'm changing the frame rate and I'm changing the frame size. Um, but it's actually it's humming along quite nicely. And so um, I'll pause until it's quite done. So stay tuned. Okay, so it's just finished. All I have to do to play it is right click on it and go to open target folder. It'll bring up the folder that includes the original, which is... Um, the flash video which is right here and I'll show you what that looks like and just double click on it and it brings up my little flash video folder the beginning image is kind of dark um, if you're wondering about that so that's that let me see if I can alright so that's the original and there comes the Sun okay and then here is the one that I just um, I just right click to say, click play and it's actually bringing up let me see if I can make this size better so it's bringing up the um, Windows Media Player to play an AVI and it's actually probably not the best um, example to use because it's such a dark video to open but that shows you that the frame rate has changed and also uh, you know I've obviously changed the format um, and then I've converted at a higher bit rate um, Remember, you can't improve the quality of your original by trying to convert it at a higher rate. But anyway, but that's all. That's how easy it was to to do and to adjust. So uh, pretty simple and pretty straightforward. I hope that helps explain um, how to take advantage of this pretty cool feature in the program. Okay, uh, enjoy.